Welcome to another technical analysis video. My name is Samuel Morton and in this video I'm going to continue with the various support and resistance that's created in financial markets and the patterns that they form. In this video we're going to look at triangles, support and resistance that create triangles and the breakouts of those triangles. There's various triangles created in the markets, but I'm going to keep this as simple as possible and I'll keep it quite brief. So in our last video we looked at channels, so support and resistance that creates a symmetrical channel in the market and price moves between these two areas and is rejected by them and eventually the channel will be broken. In this video we're going to look at triangles so support and resistance that creates a triangular shape like so and the reason why it creates a triangular shape is support and resistance is tightening, gets close to each other, eventually the support and resistance will touch and if there's not a breakout of the support and resistance before this touch then it will happen here. So let's look at some examples of this. Once again I'm sticking with the pound against the dollar, the four hour chart which I've used in every single video in this course thus far. And instead of focusing on these trends in May, June and July, we're going to go to October, November and December. So here's our range that you've seen in, in a number of these videos. Price is moving sideways. And it's in this range that we get our first triangle. So if you remember with channels, we identify pushes and pullbacks in the market, like so. And we would connect the ends of pushes, the ends of pullbacks to create support and resistance levels. Once we had created either a support or resistance, that would then be duplicated to create a, a symmetrical resistance or support. We go through a similar process to create triangles. So let's look at this area up here. If we were to mark the end of this push with the end of this push and create a resistance so we have a push, a pullback push and a pullback here's the end of our push and the end of our push again they've been connected if we were to do the same with our pullbacks So here's the end of one pullback and here's the end of another, so they've been connected. You'll see our support and resistance creates this triangular shape and is held strongly. We have rejections of the resistance here, rejections of the support here. Eventually this area becomes so tight that price will break out and that's our signal to then trade this pattern. You'll see that price breaks out at the bottom here and then goes on the downside. If price broke out the resistance at the top here then price is likely to go on the upside. 
you also notice with this triangle that this support becomes resistance just like the floor becomes a ceiling, ceiling becomes a floor principle that I mentioned in a previous video you'll see there's rejection here of the resistance and rejection here that's not the only triangle in this area though if we were to get rid of our support if we had a push, a pullback, a push pullback and a push and we were to join these two pullbacks we would create another triangle this triangle is broken here the support breaks and then this support has now become resistance is tested and is rejected so it has become resistance and price then goes on the downside it's interesting to know that if we extended this triangular support and resistance it is still used in future price movement if we look at this resistance that we created you'll see it acts as resistance here price is rejected off the resistance a number of times and then falls on the downside if we were to extend this support you'll notice when the support turns resistance and price reaches this resistance again in future price is rejected so let's look at some more triangles we have another one here this time we have a horizontal resistance and our support so here is our triangle we have a push, a pullback, a push and a pullback so we've connected our two pullbacks and our pushes and price breaks out just here and goes on the downside And then going into December, there are more triangles. Of support and resistance. Here's our price breakout. So this is the example of support and resistance and the patterns they can create in the market being triangular patterns. In the next few videos I want to look at other trading tools such as indicators that can help us profit from markets by speculating with high chance where future price is going to be.